Hey, what's up, YouTube? Random Ryan here again with another unboxing. This is gonna be resin unboxing number two. This is the YY Studios Paranga. Uh, major shout out to my boy Harry, Harry Fajardo. Uh, he lives down in Tokyo. He just recently received this Paranga and he's moving into a new house. So he's trying to save some money for the family. Totally understandable, but I feel like I struck gold because uh, he gave me a call and said, hey man, just want to know if you were interested in this. I absolutely was. So here I am. Um, now I'm able to go ahead and unbox it and review it for you guys today. So get ready because this stuff's going to be badass. Let's go. Alright, so let's get in here and take a look at this thing, man. Do our review real quick. So like we said, here's the uh, art box for it. It's a really nice art box. And we'll go ahead and push that thing to the side so we can go over here and take a look. Um, since I did find a, a small break, I'll go ahead and show that to you first. And uh, what it is is the leaves right here. Just a little bit of a, it's a tiny break. It's kind of, if you look at them, right well here. So you got, uh, it's a bunch of little pieces snapped off from the tip of it. But it's from that plant right there. As you can see, it's, uh, I mean, it kind of bounces around in there just slightly. But it's, I wish it was a cleaner break, but. I think I can still get some epoxy glue and uh, be able to put that thing back together, make it look like normal. Other than that, there was nothing. There was no other breaks. So we'll go ahead and start here from the bottom. It's got the uh, patented Dragon Ball Z logo here on the front um, with a Dragon Ball. And it's got the Namekian spacecraft. That comes loose so it just kind of sits in there there's like a little a couple of indentions for it the dragon balls as well they kind of just sit in there in this little slot there's not really a space for them um there's other little plants in here these trees sit here they kind of just sit in there loosely i wish they were a little bit tighter the mountains the hills they're nice they got some nice uh, color and contrast to them. Got a little little house over here. That's pretty cool. And then these uh, clouds, they're all magnetic, these pieces. They just uh, 
pop off and on and you can see like it has these little grooves that match the holes so I don't have a lot of resins but this is probably the hardest one that I had to put together um not really complaining about it because it's got so many pieces to it and it's uh really detailed but I just figured I'd mention that for you guys the size itself is amazing just off of that I'm already pretty excited about it the paint is really really nice he has some really good shading on his face uh, the antennas they're slightly loose but they sit in there pretty well those things I'm really scared to break they're really thin and fragile and then as we said earlier his jaw comes open and um, the jaw has the light inside there where it sits we could turn that off and on so that his eyes can glow but we'll leave that we'll leave that up in there and his head um, goes off and on as well magnetized his arms are also magnetized I'm not gonna pull them off because they have the uh, light lightning bolts that are attached to them we'll get to the lightning bolts in a minute there's another cloud the paint on the back is also really nice the texture matches really well and the fins are also painted really nicely look they uh they blend in the transition colors blend in really well all the way around really with the fin or spine or whatever you want to call it and even with the yellow portions of his body it has like a uh, darker shading in the grooves uh and then it has like this uh these like kind of gritty damage type areas really cool And even the the base is painted really nicely. It has some uh, some grooves and and abrasions on it, kind of like the uh, the ground area of of Planet Namek. The horns are really nice. They've got the grooves in them as well, painted nicely black. A little bit of transition shading to the gray as well. Kind of had to look at that a little bit closer. And man, overall this thing is cool. But I will say one thing, um, so with these lightning bolts, they're although they 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 don't seem as fragile as maybe like the trunks, the dynamic trunks lightning bolts, these things are tremendously fragile. Uh, these ones are a lot lighter. They don't seem like they break that easily, but um, they're not magnetized. I didn't think they would be, but like they kind of just sit in here a little bit loose. I wish they'd kind of be a little bit tighter, but you know, it's not something that's uh, the deal breaker for me, but I do wish that maybe they put a little bit more attention in that and made those things tighter but yeah man overall i give this thing a a 9 out of 10 it's really nice man it's huge really really nice so take a look at his face real quick before we uh do a comparison in size and now we'll go ahead and go into our size comparison let me get the Saki Corp Purunga because it's one of the tallest this is the Saki Corp and here is the Kuji that we just did a review on there 
There it is. There's the size comparison, man. This thing is massive. It's gigantic. Ooh. All right. So from the table to the top of his fin is about really close to 20. It's about 23 and a half inches. And then to the top of his horn, it's about 22 and a half. So right here at the top of his horn is about 22 and a half. And right here is about 23 and a half. So the thing is definitely massive. All right, guys. So that was my unboxing and review of the YY Purunga resin. This thing is awesome. Uh, I don't have any regrets about purchasing this thing. Yeah, there was a, a little break, but definitely not a deal breaker. It's something that's, I believe is completely fixable. Um, so no issues. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. I recommend this, uh, this resin. Now getting this, it makes me want to get the Shenron. I love it. I'm going to keep it. Now I got to, just like everything else, I got to find out where I'm going to put this thing. But man, if you guys have any questions about it, please leave them down below. I, I think I have a feeling that you guys have a bunch of questions about this one. I'll try to answer those for you as, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, you guys like the videos, man, jump on and subscribe, please. Uh, we're getting a lot more subscribers lately, so I got to pump out some more videos. And I promise you I will. Thank you guys for jumping on and taking a look at this with me. This was a really cool unboxing for me. I'm going to start getting a couple more resins so that we can do some more resin reviews. Uh, you guys let me know what you think, man, and I appreciate you. Uh, I will see you guys next time.